Hi there, I'm Andy Robertson and this is Family Gamer TV. Welcome back to Family Gamer TV. I'm with Vanessa again. So moving away from Kinect to a game just controlled with a normal controller mm -hmm. is the Skylanders Spyro's oh, yeah. Adventure. And, yeah. and I mean, it, it comes with, as you'll have seen if you watch Family Gamer TV, it comes with these little toys. You put the toy on this magic portal um, and then suddenly it's in the game. Yeah. And if you take it off, it's all, all the information is saved on the toy. You can take that to friends' houses. It works across systems. So it's got lots of technical stuff. Yeah. But as a mum, did that work for you and your family? It's my one game that I, of, of my reluctant, yeah, I'll give that a try, yeah, I'll give that a try, this one, as soon as you brought the things, I'm like, oh, this is going to be good. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't that surprising? Yeah. I, was, <laughs> I really loved it. Yeah. The kids, it was just, it's like that ultimate, like, Pokemon and things like that, where they mm. like to collect little things. And then suddenly, their little things that they collect is playing on the screen and they yeah. can move it around. And yeah. then you can think, oh, I want to change. So you suddenly take one off and it goes, shoo. And then another, yeah. shh, you're back in the oh. time. Now is the time, Portal Master. <laughs> My monster! <laughs> My monster! There he is. Whoa, Spyro. You returned. Spyro. Master Eon was right. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, it was something that you, I, you know, you were playing with the kids. That's, yeah, well, initially, unusual? I think it was going to be one of them, wasn't it? And I sort of thought, oh, I could join in, couldn't <laughs> yeah. I? Yeah. Press the cannon. Press the cannon. Press C. C. Wow. I've got to the key now. Can you collect it? Go over to the door. Oh, there's a key. Oh, yeah. Well done. Move like that. Go to the other one. I've got a three. Yeah. Uh, is there something particular about you think that though, having the toys is a key thing or is it just the game itself or well I think like it's a really nice little platform game as well isn't it so you can sort of follow around little areas and... yeah because you and Sam are playing it and yeah. you sort of taking it in turns to work out where you're going and yeah you can't you can sort of help another another player it seems to sort of drag them along with you a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so doesn't do a split screen. Now, the Lego games you're talking yes, about, Sam, yeah. playing, when the players went a different way, if they were playing two people, they would put a, a divide down the middle of the screen. They could both go off and have their own little adventures then come back together. Yeah. Whereas in Skylanders, it's saying, no, everyone's going to be on the same screen, which means if you both go the opposite directions, and my kids mm. do that a bit, it can be a yeah. bit frustrating. So there needs to be some sort of mediation of like, well, we'll go this way and then... Yeah. We'll go your yeah, way. See, I haven't seen Sam and Mia play it. When I played it with Sam, we had to negotiate on it and he got to use the cannon and not me. <laughs> which oh. I, that was fine, because yeah. next time I'm going to use yeah, the cannon. You need to make sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, cool. I think that's the thing. It works quite well with a, a parent and child. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how yeah, it's lovely. the kids get on. And just the excitement of when you get to a certain gate and it's like, oh, you need a water one. You're like, I've got a water one, I've got a water one. Got yeah, a water put it on one. the portal. Or you can take, if there's two of you playing, it's like, that's me, I can do that for you. Yeah. It's really lovely. So, I mean, do you think the fact that there's lots of these toys to collect? Oh, I know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a pocket money for oh, a few my goodness, yeah. months to come. Is that, are you happy with that? And... I think they, oh, there's a lot of them, isn't there? Yes, like, 32. Oh, my God. So, but I mean, the thing is, you don't need, you, only, you can finish the game with what you get in the, in the right. starter pack. Yeah. And then each time you buy a new character, it's not just a new um, person in the game, but also there's a little challenge that comes with that. So yes. there's more content as well. But they are about £8. So it's, it's quite high pocket money. Yeah, it is, of. isn't it? But it's, it, it's still doable. I think our kids are, you know, given mm. a month or so, they could save up for one yeah. with our meagre pocket money rations. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how much, how, much, <laughs> how much do your kids get? Well, Sam gets a couple of pounds a week. So it's probably about the same as you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if they, if they need to sort of save that yeah. for a while. I think it, so long as you didn't get to wanting all of them, as long as it's not like, oh, we have to, otherwise we can't complete the thing. At least you, I didn't realise that you can do all of it with just what you get given. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, so I think, I think I've got the balance, you know. And the thought that you can take it round to somebody else's house, I love that. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've bought a couple here this evening, mm. <laughs> yeah. just to show you the new ones I've got. You've been playing with them, haven't you? Yeah, the car, well, I, I sort of have to, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. Well, I'm glad you like that. No, it's great. Welcome to another of my gaming surgeries. This is the moment in the show where I get to answer your questions. Now this week I've got a question. How is Skylanders Spire's Adventures um, different to other games? Now obviously you've seen some of the videos that we've done talking about it, 
Um, but we had quite a few questions around this to say, well, actually, in detail, how is it different? Now, one of the main differences with Skylands is that it's not just a video game, but it's also a series of toys. It comes with a set of free figures as the starter pack. And to access characters in the game, you put these figures on a portal peripheral that comes with the game. Now, but each of these figures has a lot of detail on it, which is worth mentioning. For a start, they all are grouped into elements. The, um, the base of the figure shows you which element group they're in. We've got another one here. You can see these two are both um, in the earth element. You can also see on the bottom that um, has their element symbol there as well. Each figure you buy also gives you access to a special challenge mode. Now this unlocks special abilities that you can then add to your characters, which brings us to the whole sort of leveling up mechanic. Now, whereas a normal game, you'd, you'd save your progress to your console, walk away and leave it. In Skylanders, it's saved to these characters. Um, so as you progress in the game, as you kill things, you get rewarded experience and that levels them up in terms of how strong they are. Each of them has a different set of starting stats. And as you play, it builds up and up and up based on those stats. And also then in the game, you collect money. Now the money you collect actually buys new abilities for your Skylander characters when you're back in the portal hub world. And each of them has their own sort of branching um, array of different weapons that you can choose. And as you buy new weapons, um, you essentially change your Skylander toy um, from a generic one you've bought off the shelf into something that's just very unique to how you've played the game. Then each character has their own sort of final upgrade weapon. But to, to, to access that, you have to have found their sole gem in the game. If you've got that and you've got enough money, then that last upgrade gives them this sort of big super weapon and really makes them quite a, quite a force to be reckoned with in the game. Then there's also um, the ability to apply hats to the characters. Um, this again gives them a little stats boost in a certain area. And if you've got all of them in each of the groups, so if you've got say all of the Earth characters, all of those, the Xbox knows or if we or the PlayStation knows that you've got them. And it gives again, that group has a little extra stat boost. Now, one thing to mention about getting started with Skylanders is that you need to set up your portal peripheral. The game comes with one of these, but it's different depending on the platform that you've got. On the 360, you'll see that it's a wired, a wired portal. You simply plug that into one of the USB ports on your console. Um, but on the Wii and on the PS3, you'll see underneath that it's wireless. So it uh, needs some batteries in it, but it also has a wireless dongle. Now, um, slightly unusual for um, these sorts of games, you need to plug this in to the back of the console. You then need to press the button on the back of it at the same time as pressing the sync button on the portal. At the same time, the portal will flash and the two will be joined. Now that just leaves the 3DS version, which comes with a slightly smaller portal because it only needs to fit one character on at a time. And that communicates with the 3DS wirelessly um, via the infrared um, communication channel at the back of the 3DS but it also lets you load a couple of characters onto your 3DS so that if you're out and about, you can still switch characters without having to get your portal out and actually change. So there you can see, um, there's quite a few ways which Skylanders Spyro's Adventures is, is quite different to your everyday video game. And also there's quite a few things about the detail of how it works uh, that you need to know so you can progress well through the game and really get the most out of it. So I hope that was helpful and I'll be back soon with more gaming surgery questions. Yeah.